and we back. We back. Back off vacation. Nah. Nah, what up, y'all? What up? It's your boy D D Rock. Devon, you know. Whatever you don't call me. Just, you know what I mean? Just don't call me heavy no more. <laughs> but um, yo. Welcome, welcome. Um, it's been a while since I um touched base with y'all. You know, made a video. Been living life. Gotta live it, right? Gotta live gotta live it in order to talk about it. But um we are officially six months post op and we are a year since I started the journey last April. And uh, we are down a total of 121 pounds, if you want to count numbers. But it's not really about the number at this point with me, it's about how I feel. But statistic wise, um, I lost over 28% um, of my body mass, which is crazy. I uh, started weighing and weighing in last year at uh, the highest was 426. Now I'm 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 in between like 305 to 309. You know what I mean, depending on what type of day it is, you know. But definitely, definitely lost a lot of weight, and I'm proud of myself for getting through this, you know. And um, the other day, I went online. And I was like, you know, I want to do like a little questionnaire, and you know, just to touch base with y'all, you know, on some interactional type thing. So uh, I told everybody if they had any questions about. Uh, weight loss surgery or just weight loss in general to hit me up and i got a couple questions here so we're gonna run through them right so one question is um how do you discipline yourself to stay consistent man consistency is definitely the key but to stay disciplined i would say having the end goal having to like even a small goal just wanting to to wear a certain old shirt that I used to have or to put a old jacket on, you know? That's like my discipline in order for me to get this. Like, all right, I wanna be able to do this or be able to wear this. I gotta work hard, you know? Like, like you gotta put in the work in order to see the results you want. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's with anything. If you wanna pass this test, if you wanna hit this goal at, at your job, you gotta work hard to do it. So I would definitely say me having a, an end goal or a goal I want to achieve basically kicks in the discipline. And, you know, having more, my friends and family on my back, like, yo, D, you gotta go hard, you gotta go hard, you gotta go hard. So it's like, I don't want to let people down, I'm such a little person that that I don't want to let any, I, like, I don't want to let anybody down who's been on this journey and praying and supporting me. So that's part of it too. Um, Another question, is it frustrating having to buy clothes right now? Yes, it is. It's very frustrating because in your in your head, you see yourself as something and you've been so used to buying a certain size that you get kind of like, I don't know. You get kind of like, I, I don't know if I should buy this size. Like, right? So for, for me, I wear a size right now, shirt size. All right, let's just talk about it. I'm like, if you look at my body structure, pause, it's like a V, right? So I had a broad shoulders, no matter how many weights I lift, no matter how many, how many times I run on a treadmill, yo, the, I'm gonna have a broad upper body, right? Which is, which is good, right? That's just me. So shirts, I remember I had reached to like, almost like a 4X at one point, right? Which is crazy. Looking, looking back at it being a little bit smaller now, right now I'm in between sizes. I'm like between a 2X and a 3X, depending on the brand, right? So. Like with this shirt right here, shout out to my brother's cash, you know, couch money, you know what I mean? But um, right, this is like a, a comfortable 3X, right? It is still loose, but I like, you know, my t-shirts to be a little loose. I'm like, you know, that tight, tight shit, I can't do that. So I would say right now, I'm a 2 and a 3X, depending on the brand, right? So shirts, shirts, I don't, I don't got really problem buying them, like it is what it is. It's just the pants, the pants, like I lost... So much like like weight in my in my in my thighs and my waist that like I can't even fit like none of the pants I used to wear a year ago. All that joint is super baggy. If it was like 2001, it'd have been lit. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want my pants like that no more. But so like I probably dropped two legit whole pants sizes. So buying pants has been kind of it's been tricky because you know because. I'm still like a big dude, so like I, I can't do the skinny joints 
my, my joints gotta be real like fitted fitted pants so i'll definitely say it is definitely frustrating buying buying clothes now all right another question we got what do you wish people knew about your weight loss journey Ooh, okay another one i wish people would know that it's not a cop-out you know not meaning just because somebody got help with weight loss like the surgery you're using it as a tool it's not like oh you got surgery now you're losing 100 pounds like nah it, you gotta work hard you gotta, i had to do a lot to even get to this point like i knew last year i was on the 800 calorie diet i was on three shakes a day mad water had to, like no rice no pasta no nothing so it was a lot of work to put into it so i would definitely say like i wish people knew that it's not just like a, a easy fix you know what I mean? If I had the same thing, it's, it's definitely not easy. Um, okay, this kind of ties in. What's the most common misconception about weight loss? Um, that it's not easy. It's not easy. Even if you even if you're doing it the non-surgical tool way, like people don't understand. Like nobody wants to get up at 4:30 in the morning. You know what I mean? Like you want to stay in bed, but no. If you if you want to see the results, you want to see the change, you're gonna get up and go. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's easy for somebody to say, I wanna lose weight. What you about to do to lose weight, you know? What you about to do to keep the weight off you? I mean everybody wants like Big said, people talking it but ain't living it. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta you know, if you ain't doing the the, the proper like steps to to get there, you just talking, get about it here. So I'll say the, the misconception is that it's easy. It's really not easy. All right. Another question we got. How do how you feel about your weight loss so far? And um, how are you feeling health-wise? Health-wise, yo, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I'm just now getting to like my prime. Like, like I feel like I'm bouncy again. I'm, I'm out here moving quickly, running around, you know what I'm saying? Like, in the gym for mad at like like probably like two hours at a time is you know like i have energy like there's no lower back pain there's no ankle pain none of that like even my vision got a little better you know so i would say health wise I'm, I'm doing good i'm doing good and um how do i feel so far about the weight loss i feel good and i feel like i can get i can go a little like i can i can basically lose a little more you know because like i don't want to make it seem like a numbers thing but even my doctor was telling me when I wanted to go visit um, a couple weeks ago. She's like, Devon, I'm not even, I don't even care about the number. I want to know, like, how you feel. Like, are you feeling the changes in your clothes? Like, stuff like that. Because your weight loss number is going to fluctuate. Like I said before, I don't have a scale in this house at all. Only, only scales I, I go on is when I go to the, the doctors and jump on the scale. And then I'm like, all right, bet. I got, I'm, I'm see y'all in a month or two. Let me see if I can work that down. Cause I don't want to be a numbers watcher. Numbers watching will, will, will like, will like just frustrate you because it's not where you wanted to be. So I feel good about the weight loss. Um, that's a great question. Uh, next question. Um, oh, okay. What's good, Reese? Like I got shot you out. I appreciate you. Um, wasn't a question. He said he's just happy about the work I put in. So I appreciate that, bro. Um, let me see what else we got on here. Another question. Question. Okay, what am I eating these days? Whoo, okay. Eating, so I'm back. To, I technically can eat normal meals now, but I kind of like I'm picking and choosing on whatever I whatever I like. You know, put in my body. So my favorite meal, I would have to say, either baked chicken, shrimp, either baked chicken or shrimp, and like broccoli or asparagus, some brown rice. I can't even, I don't even eat rice like that anymore, but like, it's very, it's, it's kind of trash, you know? like I'm really a, a born eater now when it comes to like to my dishes, it's like, I like scrambled eggs and like vegetables and, and like, you know, stuff like that, um, what else, yeah, a lot of fish, a lot, a lot of chicken, if I had to say, you know what I'm saying, because it, cause it, it, it sits well in my stomach, it's not like, oh my god, I can't do it. A lot of protein shakes. You see me at 
Fresh Monkey a lot, and you see me at uh, Emerald City a lot, getting, getting smoothies all the time. I replaced a lot of like legit meals with a, with a smoothie shake, and I, I feel good about it. And, um, okay. Oh, how do I maintain my diet when going out? Whew, okay. Now that, that's what I'm saying when I'm being picky. So like, I've cut out drinking alcohol too, so I haven't drunk anything since probably last January, Feb last Feb well, 2023 February, my birthday, last shot I had. Besides that, I don't even feel the need to even want to partake in drinking. Like, I was out this weekend with a couple of my friends at Maddie D's or whatever, and I just had water, you know what I'm saying? Glass of water. Uh, if, if I want to get, you know what I mean, a little spicy, even a little ginger ale or something. But like, besides that, I don't really feel the need to, to drink like that, especially with your liver and the weight loss. It's like, once you start educating yourself on things, you don't even want to partake in that, so yeah. But you know, um, that's most of the questions I got. I ain't want to go leave y'all with, you know, a long video. But yeah, um, I feel good. Six months went by. I got goals I want to hit. Like right now, like I said, I'm still in three hundreds, but lower three. So like between three ten and three hundred is where my weight is right now. Still lost over one hundred twenty pounds, which is an excitement. What is the achievement? It's the, the crazy achievement that I thought I'd never get to, and um, I'm just happy about that. But I still want to lose more. So, but we still working at it. Um, appreciate people who hit me up online. The, the, I appreciate everybody who likes a picture. But that right there, a picture, like they say, say a thousand words. Like, you don't, you don't understand when, like, people see how you... Like, when I post my pictures, I try to do, like, old ones and new ones. And it's good seeing, like, the change in me, yo. It's good. I'm really proud of myself for, for, for making it this far. Still got, you know, more to go. But uh, thank you. Uh, I'm going to leave all the socials at the bottom for you. You know, follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Facebook and all that. Again, um, appreciate everybody. Whoever <clears throat> liked the picture, whoever said a good comment, whoever asked me a question, I appreciate it. And you know, I catch you at my 5 a.m. gym days. You know what I mean, uh, but anyway, y'all be easy. Stay blessed.